Hey guys, it's your boy Leo Styles and welcome to Leo Reviews. Last night I went to LA's Haunted Hayride and just like SoCal's Urban Legends, there were some pros and cons and we're going to get into that. Let's get started. So, let's start off with time. The event is about, well, the website tells you that it's about an hour long. The thing is that they don't tell you, it's from the moment you enter the gate before you get your ticket scanned, waiting in line, then going through the town of Midnight Falls, which is a fictional town that they put together, which they did an amazing job doing, and then going through the drive through experience. <sighs> so if you have general, it's an hour. If you don't have general, you at least pass up majority of the traffic, especially if you have VIP or platinum. Let's talk about Midnight Falls. Now, me personally, since I'm a big fan of sets and area transformations how you can turn one thing to another i really did enjoy what they did with midnight falls i enjoyed the trick-or-treat elements i enjoyed the hell um scenery um there were some things that honestly it kind of made me wish that you could just walk through it so i think they did a great job with that and but this is um, 13 floor, so they've been doing this for about over 12 years. So I think they actually got it down to almost a science. So after you go through the town of Midnight Falls, you end up at the drive-thru, hosted by Monty Ravota. Now, this was actually really cool. It had elements of the Rocky Horror Picture Show with music. It also had film that was playing. Um, I'm gonna get to the film after this. Um, they also had scare actors walking around trying to scare you in your cars. Now, just like I said about Urban Legends, it's kind of hard to be scared when you're in the safety of your own car. Um, as much as people want to say, oh, well, they can do this, they can do that. With, um, city guidelines and protocols, and especially with insurance, you really can't. So, you gotta give them credit for this. So... One thing that it got right compared to Urban Legends, which I know I gotta stop comparing, is the drive through element. They actually got an FM station that you can actually tune your car in just so you can hear the movie. So, big positive. And here's the negative. Um, some people complain about it not being scary, and you're 100% right, it's not scary. But I feel like we have to accept that. As much as people are like, we don't have to accept it, we should accept it. Because here's the thing, we are living in a time that you can't have the scare actors just pop out of your car, pop in your car, or do things that would normally scare you. So I feel like that you gotta just go to this event with the mentality of being entertained and not being terrified. So back to the show. Um, there was a lot of I'm gonna be honest, whenever Monty Revolta was on, I paid attention. I really enjoyed the character. He reminded me of a modern day Crypt Keeper. Um, whenever he was on, there's usually like a song number or a comedy number, and it was fun. Um, there was one scare actor, if I can literally <clears throat> not remember. There was two scare actors, actually. There was one literally dressed up as Satan that was legitimately twerking constantly with a lamp on his butt then there was a guy with a chainsaw and then an axe in a jumpsuit with a rabbit's mask doing a full-blown dance number to one of Monty's songs and I applaud that guy now the actual films of the show what you probably noticed or what you didn't notice is that um, if you went to the event you can clearly see that after every video, it said Crypt TV. You can actually go on YouTube and actually re-watch the movies that you might have missed or, you know, scenes that you haven't caught because you're too busy looking at scare actors. So, let's get into pricing. The event starts at a price of $49.99, depending on the date, to a max of $250 depending on the date. If you can't get the cheaper ticket, um, it's worth it because here's the thing. 
even if you sit in the back, you still get the scare actors. You can still see the film, and you can still go through Midnight Falls. If you pay more, yeah, you get a front row ticket, but at the same time, it's 250 bucks in a pandemic. It's kind of expensive, but I'm not going to sit right here and say that it's not worth it if you have the extra cash. So, pros. Uh, Macho Revolta still the whole show. Um, with his musical numbers, his comedy, um, like I said, he's a modern day, he's a modern day Crypt Keeper. And another pro, um, set design. Like I said, I will not stop praising 13th Floor for the set design. <sighs> with every pro, there's a con. The most obvious one, pricing. In the pandemic, it's hard to justify spending $50 to go to a Halloween event. So it's hard to also justify paying $250 on a Platinum Pass to go to a Halloween event. Especially during time when, you know, money might be tight. Second con. Just when you finally kind of get into it, it's over. Um, and I feel like that's kind of the definition of most of these Halloween shows. Right when you get to a part where you're really enjoying yourself, it's over. I just want to say that, you know, they should have done more, they should have done this, they should have done that. I don't know what else you could have done. It was a good show. It's just the fact that it kind of went kind of quick. It was like 20 minutes. So, to wrap up this video, do I think that the LA Haunted Hayride is worth it? Yes. I do feel like it's worth the cheaper tickets. I do feel like if you have the extra funds, yes, you should be, uh, yes, you can go to this if you're a big Halloween fan. I don't say that this is family friendly, even though they do censor a lot of the words in the movie. There's other Halloween events going on throughout SoCal. Uh, you might want to check those out if you have young children. But for the Haunted Hayride, they knocked it out the park. They showed how to actually do this during a pandemic. So. I'm Leo Styles. Um, that been a Leo review. Um, if there's another Halloween event that you want me to check out, um, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps us out. Peace.